Kotonou, the economic capital of Benin, is one of the most polluted cities in West Africa. And at the city's lagoon, local fishermen are paying the price. The large regional market leaves behind tons of waste spread over several kilometers. All of this waste gets into the water, killing large numbers of fish. We do not get as much fish as we used to because there's too much rubbish in the river. This is not good. Nicolas Hulot is a special envoy of France for the protection of the planet. He is on a mission to obtain a commitment from Benin's government to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases ahead of this year's climate conference in Paris. One of the obvious consequences of climate change is rising sea levels. We can immediately understand the precariousness of the situation and the impact this would have on populations, such as those living here in Cotonou. The impact of climate change brings more injustice and creates even more difficulties. It adds misery to poverty and leads to more inequality. The impact of climate change in Benin could be disastrous. The north is increasingly arid and the south coast is threatened by rising sea levels. Benin doesn't rely on industry, so its greenhouse gases emission is lower than other African countries. The challenge is to head towards solar energy or wind power, limiting the use of fossil fuel in the coming decades. A costly transition that, according to Benin's prime minister, the country can't bear alone. Africa is the priority because what's happening to Africa is a scandal. The African continent doesn't cause pollution, but we have to pay for the consequences. The countries causing the pollution must repair the damage they have caused. And I think that with electricity and sustainable energy in Africa, we will get the results and make progress. The Green Climate Fund was launched in 2010 to assist developing countries to adapt to climate change. So far, it has raised $4 billion, but activists hope the Paris conference will raise even more. An ultimate hope for the fishermen of Cotonou.